What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and we've been talking about Disney and their push for identity politics for quite some time. This is not something that's just limited to Star Wars. It's not just limited to Marvel and the MCU. Not just limited to the mini Disney parks out there and the changes that they're making. This is a company-wide push from everything that falls under the Disney umbrella. They are driving their fans away by shoving a narrative down their throats. A narrative that is full of racial and political divisive ideology. And if you just thought we were joking about that, if you just thought, oh, you're just making it up, well, now we have something that definitively proves exactly how they feel about America, about America, quote, being a racist country, and how they treat, quote, people of color that are in their own sphere. This is Disney, like we've been saying. Uh, from Christopher F. Rufo, Scoop. The Walt Disney Corporation claims that America was founded on systemic racism, encourages employees to complete a, quote, white privilege checklist, and separates minorities into racially segregated affinity groups. I've obtained internal documents that will shock you. And we're going to go through some of the more crazy parts of this. But if you were one of those people that thinks, ah, you know, Disney's just, they're not, they're not going woke, like, you guys are reading too much into this. I think that this is pretty compelling evidence to the opposite. Now, I should point out, uh, as I've seen a lot of people say, this is very accurate. This is exactly 100% what goes down at Disney. But a lot of people are saying this uh, right now, this is not a mandatory program. This is a voluntary program that is pushed hard, but it is not required for employees to sit through this. However, just the fact that it exists, just the fact that cast members are coming forward and saying, yeah, this is this is a real thing, that should tell you something when you read how disgusting and demented and ridiculous some of this nonsense is. Uh, now, we do have the internal source documents uh, from the website. I like the title, The Wokest Place on Earth. Disney mounts an internal campaign against white privilege and organizes racially segregated affinity groups. Now, they do have the entire, it looks like a 22-slide PowerPoint or PDF file basically um this is real reimagine tomorrow the walt disney company where we all belong they want to reimagine tomorrow they want to recreate the way we think about everything that's what they're doing it is no longer about giving us entertaining product it is no longer just about giving people a story that they can get into characters that they get in, that they can get into now it's about uh being anti-racist at all costs whatever that means and of course uh, it's only anti-racism when it's one way. Uh, they want you to feel bad if you're white. They want you to treat people different because of their skin color. That's what Disney wants, and we're going to look at it. According to a trove of whistleblower materials, Disney has launched a diversity and inclusion program called Reimagine Tomorrow, which includes training on systemic racism, white privilege, white fragility, white saviors, microaggressions, and anti-racism. So here's some of those shots from the slides that we just showed you. Allyship for race consciousness. Now, this is radical stuff. This is critical race theory. This is the design to make every single person who's not white feel like they have been spat on, like they have been stepped on, like they've had it terribly, like they need to demand more more from all of their white colleagues and it's designed to make every white person feel like they are a piece of shit simply for the color of their skin that they've had it easy their entire lives and that they should be asking each and every day what I can do to help my colleagues who are quote people of color that's what is going on at Disney let's dive into it Disney claims that America has a long history of systemic racism and transphobia and tells employees that they must take ownership of educating yourself about structural anti-black racism and not rely on your black colleagues to educate you, which is emotionally taxing. Um, I don't know what this has to do with working at a fucking theme park at Disney, but this is where we are. Uh, deepening your insight and knowledge is a critical first step to understanding the magnitude and complexity of the current state and building empathy to authentically connect with your colleagues. Uh, I, I wish I could say this was a joke. I, I, I didn't cover it last night because I was hoping more information would come out and maybe this wouldn't be real, but it is 100% real. White employees are told to work through, through feelings of guilt, shame, and defensiveness to understand what is beneath them and what needs to be healed. They must listen with empathy to black colleagues and not question or debate black colleagues' lived experience. 
So when we talk about white people and their lived experience, you don't get to talk about that. You can only listen to your, to your colleagues if they are a certain color and you can't argue with them. Sounds pretty fucking racist to me. That is not the most racist thing that we're going to find here. Trust me. Disney tells employees they should reject equality or equal treatment and instead strive for equity or equality of outcome. This is where we are going with this. It is not about everyone having an equal opportunity. That's not what it's about anymore. It's about making sure that everyone has the same outcome, regardless of your qualifications, regardless of how smart you are, how well you perform, how hard you work. They want the outcome to be exactly the same for everyone. Completely fucked up. Very anti-American, in my opinion. Disney sponsored the creation of the 21-Day Racial Equity and Social Justice Challenge and recommended it to its employees. The challenge begins with a lesson on systemic racism and tells participants they have, quote, all been raised in a society that elevates white culture over others. This is being taught to you by Disney. Next, participants are asked to complete a white privilege checklist. I am white. I am heterosexual. I am a man. I still identify as the gender I was born in. I have never been R-worded. I don't rely on public transportation and I have never been called a terrorist. This is the, how privileged are you? I've never been called a terrorist. Oh my gosh. This is more woke than I could possibly even have imagined when I first started looking at this. And look at, look at this white privilege checklist. The, these quotes from white people, I guess. This is what makes white privilege. I can take a job with an affirmative action employer without having coworkers on the job suspect that I got it because of my race. I don't have to educate my children to be aware of systemic racism for their own daily physical protection. Yeah, when you listen to pieces of shit like LeBron James, that's what you may think you have to do. I am never asked to speak for all the people of my racial group. You're being singled out and taught because you're white in this training. Are you fucking kidding me? I will feel welcomed and normal in the usual walks of public life, institutional, and society. If I have low credibility as a leader, I can be sure that my race is not the problem. <laughs> so if I'm shitty at my job and no one respects me, at least I know it's not because of my skin color. It's just because I'm a piece of shit. That's white privilege. Uh, I can worry about racism without being seen as self-interested or self-seeking. If, if my day, week, or year is going badly, I do not need to ask each negative episode or situation whether it had racial overtones. This is fucking insane. Finally, participants are told they must pivot from white dominant culture to something different. The document claims competition, individualism, timeliness, and comprehensiveness are white dominant values that perpetuate white supremacy culture. Think of how racist this is. You are stating that white culture is competitiveness, individualism, timeliness, and comprehensiveness. So being detailed and being punctual it is white or white values. That's what Disney thinks. Disney is racist as fuck. Disney recommends that employees read a how-to guide called 75 things white people can do for racial justice. The article then uh, tells readers to defund the police, participate in reparations, decolonize your bookshelf and find and join a local quote white space. This is nuts. Now, this one here is my favorite part. This is my favorite part of all of them. Finally, Disney has launched racially segregated affinity groups for minority employees with the goal of achieving culturally authentic insights. So they divided people into their races and then gave them names based on those races. This is not, this is no shitting you. This is not making this up. This is real life. The Latino group was named Hola. Very nice. The, uh, the Asian group was named Compass. What do you think the black group name was? Do you know what the black group's name was? Wakanda. <laughs> Wakanda at Disney. Wakanda at Disney champions both business opportunities for DCPI and professional opportunities for black talent. So you got uh, the Latinos under the Ola group and you put the black people in the Wakanda category. 
This is Disney. And this is what I'm saying. When you look, you have to read more into what's happening in things like Star Wars. You have to read more into what's happening in things like the MCU. When Falcon and Winter Soldier, when we had all this stuff that was solely based on race, not about the story, they had these speeches in there specifically about racial relations, you have to wonder what all of this has to do with that. And I think we all understand this is insanity right now. Disney is a corporation that for so long, so many people kind of identified that as American, like Disney and America goes together. Uh, all of So many of us grew up watching Disney movies, wanting to go to Disney World, wanting to go to Disneyland. And it is a shame to see where this company has fallen and where it's at now. The disgusting behavior of these people who want you to feel bad if you're a certain skin color. This is why you need to look very deeply into everything that goes into Star Wars, everything that goes into the MCU, because it all has these types of undertones behind them. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. What do you think about this Disney whistleblower thing? What do you think about the Reimagine Tomorrow program? Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone, and a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.